Today we are exploring Singapore's Chinatown and our first stop is gonna be some traditional coffee. Okay, I got Kopi C. I don't really know what I'm doing. It looks like it has some milk or cream or some sweetness in it. The coffee only costs $3.10 Singapore dollars, so that's like $2.30 United States. It says on here, the best Singapore traditional coffee. All right, let's try it. Oh, it's very sweet, but it's good. Yeah, I really like it. it. It definitely has a unique flavor to it. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I do really like it. Jenny just told me that she saw on the menu that they had little snacks that were inexpensive. So I'm gonna go check that out. Oh yeah. Oh, these look so good. We got a, uh, a pork bow yeah. and a red bean slash lotus bow. Oh. And also we have one more thing coming. Oh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> It was, let's see, it was basically just like one dollar for each of them. This one is the pork. The outside is just so, so soft. And then when you get to the inside, when you get that pork, mm. I was in China for a few weeks, a few years ago, and this tastes very, very similar. It is so good. I think this is the first one I've ever tried. We did have one at 7-Eleven in Thailand, but I'm not gonna count that, so here we go. The pork is like sweet and super tender. Oh, it's delicious. I don't know about this one. I'm kind of nervous. It's very sweet. It's almost like dessert. It actually tastes like bread with a bunch of honey in the middle. We also got some roti. We had some in Thailand and it looked very, very different. So definitely not the same food, but it looks like it's some bread with like sesame on it and we're gonna dip it in this sauce. Ooh, it's like sesame salad dressing. It's really good. These are fun little snacks. Now that we are all fueled up with our coffee and our bao and our roti, we are ready to explore the rest of Chinatown. We are actually on Smith Street right now, which has a huge Chinatown street market, which we're gonna go to. But first, there's like this museum right here that talks about the traditional Singapore coffee, and we're gonna go in there. It's honestly been so fun just sitting here at this little cafe on the street, watching it rain, watching people go by. That's like one of my favorite things to do in cities, is just sit in a cafe and watch everyone live their lives. Level two for the free museum. Looks like here's all the different tools that they use to make the coffee. There's lots of them. Singapore declared independence in 1965, not too long ago. Looks like there used to be a ton of boats on the Singapore River. And now, today, there's not very many. Got a Chinese theater and opera tea house. It looks like this is a bar, but I really like this dragon that they have up there. It's so cool. We're at the Chinatown street market. There's a lot of vendors, mostly restaurants in close proximity. It's just so fun to walk by them. Some of them look very traditional with their Chinese lanterns and others, well, I guess there's a 7-Eleven over here too. This restaurant looks really fun. I like all of the red and the lanterns. It just looks cool. That, my friends, is the smell of durian. It, well, you can't smell it right now, but we can. This cafe right here sells them and We've seen signs in our hotel rooms all in Singapore and in Thailand. They will fine you like hundreds of dollars if you bring that smell in there. I asked one of those people at the table if I could take a video of them eating the durian fruit and it looks like you have to wear gloves just because you don't want the smell on your hands. It is so interesting and I really don't have any desire to try it because it smells so bad. Maybe at some point, but probably not gonna happen in this video. Looks like they have some good luck knots here. They're all such beautiful colors. Look at them, they're so vibrant. Behind us here is the Buddha Tooth Temple. We are gonna try to go in. It is very beautiful from the outside. I might be turned away because of my shorts. We're not really sure, but we're gonna try. And your tank top. And my tank top. So 
it looks like it is a free admission. We can just walk right in. It is already so beautiful. I just love the intricacy of the architecture. It does say if you're wearing like super short shorts or a few other things to wear a sarong that they give you, but I don't see any sarongs. But I think I've, I've seen a lot of people coming out with shorts and tank tops, so I think it's okay to go in. Wow, that was so interesting in there. I don't think we've ever been in a temple where there's like an actual service going on and there was monks chanting and actually I'm pretty sure you can still hear them right now and people were like reading along in a book and it was so interesting to just watch them practice their religion because we don't have any experience with it and so yeah, it was just really interesting. We had no idea we were gonna be able to go into this temple. Last time we passed by, all the doors were completely closed. There was no noise coming from it. And so we figured, okay, well, it's cool to look at the outside of it, but now stepping inside, you really got to see what is happening. There are a ton of people just going up to the various Buddhas and uh, praying to them. They have their incense. Inside there, you have all of the different Buddhas that represent a different uh, Chinese year. And so they have the various animals. It was really fascinating to be inside. It is really cool though, because all over Singapore and even Chinatown, like there's other churches like right across the street that are different denominations. So it's really cool that they all, you know, respect each other. Well, we're breaking ourselves in slowly and I've convinced Jacob to try a durian ice cream bar. <laughs> I'm only doing it because it costs $1. That's the durian one? Yep. Oh man. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Are you ready, Jacob? I did say in the video earlier that I wasn't ready to try it. But. It's time. <laughs> I'll go first. I'm kind of scared to open it. I don't think it's going to smell though. Yeah, they froze it. Nope. <laughs> Wait, now I'm scared. Does it really smell that bad? What did I, I'm like holding my nose right now. What did I get us into? Well. It literally smells like a sewer. No. Oh. That's not, oh, wait, I can smell it now. I can smell it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe it like tastes good, even it, though it yeah, smells bad. It, it tastes better than it smells. And it doesn't, oh no. Let me take that from you. The taste is good. It's the aftertaste that, that tastes like it smells. Uh. I really don't know about this. No. I'm trying not to be dramatic here, but that's really bad. Wait, why do people like eating this it's fruit? It's really healthy. It's really healthy, okay. Oh, you went for it. Oh my, wait, this, Jetty, this is horrible. <laughs> why does this taste so bad? <laughs> but it's so healthy for you. I, I don't think anyone enjoys it. What do we do? Do we just throw this yeah, away? Yeah, just throw it away. I'm really sorry if I offended you by my reaction to this, but I don't know. Do you actually like it? Yeah, tell us if you like durian. Jacob and I can usually force ourselves to eat pretty much anything. Well, not me. Jacob can, but not this. Nope, I'm putting it right back in the wrapper and we're going to throw it away somewhere. Maybe far oh. away from other people so they don't have to smell it. It still smells. Go away. Go away. Stop. This store that we bought the ice cream from has so much durian. Look at all of these different products. We have successfully found a trash can that's away from most people. This is a great spot for it. Oh man, we're gonna have to give it another try at some Absolutely point. Absolutely not. At some point in our lives, maybe we'll have to go I for it. I just needed but. that one experience. I'm happy that we tried it at least once. It has been fun walking around the Chinatown street market and now we are going to the Hawker Center. It's called Chinatown Complex. We're gonna find some food in here. We can tell that all of the food stalls are upstairs, but right now we are on the ground floor and there's a lot of places looks like to so clothes or various products, so I think we'll just look around. The ground floor has all these shops, and then in the basement, there's like fresh produce all down there, and then 
This escalator will take us to the food. And this is the first hawker stall to get a Michelin star. This stall has a lot of people in line, so we're going for it. We're in line to get some dumplings. It had a Michelin star and there's tons of people in line, so I have a feeling it's gonna be really good and worth the wait. Hong Kong? Yes. And steamed dumplings. Steamed dumplings. Yes. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks like some of this might be spicy, so there's like a drink stand over there we might have to go to. And 30 seconds later, we have a pineapple juice for $2. Oh yeah. This whole meal right here cost us a little under 20 Singapore dollars about 15 in the US. But look at how, oh, it just looks so good. I cannot wait to dive into this. What are you gonna try first? The dumplings. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, these are wontons. Yeah, yeah okay. They look very spicy, so I'm kind of concerned. Oh, it's so good. That's a lot, oh my gosh, it's spicy. I got this sauce. It might be chili sauce, it might be sweet and sour sauce. Okay. Okay, it's not too spicy. It doesn't stay in your mouth for very long. Now I'm gonna try a dumpling. I'll dip it in this sauce. Mmm! That's really good. Ooh, I really like this sauce. It is kind of sweet and sour, but it does have a little kick to it. I honestly can't wait for Jacob to try any of this. I'm just going for it. Okay, we got Szechuan spicy noodles. I'm not quite sure how to do this. I know this isn't proper. I don't know. <laughs> it's really good. It had a lot of peanuts on top. I can definitely taste that. I can smell the peanuts too. It smell, it's, it's honestly really good. I don't know which one's my favorite. They're all so delicious. And hopefully we can finish it all. It's a lot of food. It is a lot of food. Our last bite of wonton. We've been slowing down a lot to finish this because we ordered quite a bit of food. Probably a little bit too much, but it's fine. We definitely are not gonna be finishing the noodles. It was just a lot of food, but so good. And seriously, that was the best Chinese food I have ever eaten, which is no surprise because we are in Chinatown in Singapore, so it was great. Highly recommend that place. Big points to this hawker center because they have netting all around so no birds can get in. They knew I was coming. We found a new area to walk around, so we're just seeing what they have to offer. We stumbled upon an aquarium. <laughs> These mini puffer fish are so cute and tiny. They're like the size of my fingernail. I want to see one puff up. They have sharks here. These ones aren't so small, but they're not that big either. Little tiny turtles. OMG, they're so tiny. We are seeing these medical halls everywhere. I'm assuming it has like the Chinese traditional medicine. I don't know too much about Chinese medicine, but I know just a little bit. I know that they use like a lot of herbal supplements rather than just like creating pills in labs. And you can definitely smell it. Like we can always tell when we're coming up on one because it has such a unique smell. It kind of smells like sweet. Dirt. I mean, herbs are just like from the ground in nature, so it makes sense why it smells like that. We found the park! Woohoo! What which, do we do here? Which park is it? It is Duxton Plain Park. This is definitely not the park that I wanted to go to, and also there's the rain on our camera. This is actually really cool. So if you are a senior citizen or you're a person with disability, you get this card and you just tap it right there and then you have a longer crossing time. So you can make it across this one and the next section. We made it to Duxton Plain Park. There's a nice little pathway here. It's raining really hard now. So we might not stay here too long. There's this really cool building. I think those are all apartments and you could actually go all the way to the top. We were thinking about it and then it started raining pretty hard. Oh my gosh, it is getting so windy right now. We should 
probably head to somewhere inside. Uh, yeah. Wow, it is so green around here. It's crazy, like the huge skyscrapers, and then it's just like huge, like trees, and it's just so cool. Jenny's navigating us to a pastry shop, even though I'm the navigator. So we'll see what she does. Some Cantonese pastries. The lady told us that this egg tart is the most popular one, so we'll give it a try. Oh, I, oh gosh! It's like falling apart. It's like, like it's good. It's just that like I thought it would be sweeter, and this is just like straight up egg in there. We also got a shortbread cookie, which I feel like it's gonna be pretty good. We've passed by this little bakery so many times, and I just needed to try it. Mmm. <laughs> shortbread is really dry so it takes a while to chew but it is really good it's like really like usually I feel like shortbread's a little bit hard this is like super soft it's delicious thank you so much for watching this we have more Singapore videos on the way if you really like our videos we would appreciate your support on buying me a coffee there's a link in our description to help us out to support us to make videos like this thank you so much we'll see you in the next one